welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you exactly what I've been eating for the last couple nights just to hit those macros before bed feeling satisfied. So I've been tweaking this recipe for the last couple of months trying to get that right consistency, that right flavor, that right texture and I think I think I got it down packed. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a blend of Kino collagen with some regular chocolate whey protein and I find that that works best for this recipe. Now if you're looking for something more sludgy, something more creamy, then just use Kino collagen and if you're looking for something more cake texture, then just use a regular uh, chocolate isolate. But for this recipe, we're using a bit of both. We're going to mix both together and it's going to be absolutely amazing. All right, so let's get going. So we're going to be using some Kino collagen. Like I said uh, before, we're going to mix this with some regular chocolate protein, whatever you have. We're also going to add some Hershey's Cocoa Powder. Uh, here we have some buckwheat flour. Now I've experimented with buckwheat flour, regular flour, uh, oat flour, almond flour, but I find that uh, for this recipe, buck, uh, buckwheat flour works just perfect. And the macros are a little bit better, 100 calories per 30 grams. Uh, vanilla extract, baking powder, and some cashew milk, the unsweetened vanilla flavored cashew milk. Okay, so that's all we need for this recipe. Okay, so step one, get a mixing bowl, and I like to mix in the dry ingredients first, and then pour in the wet ingredients. So here we have the powder already mixed together, the protein powder that is. So we have... 25 grams of regular chocolate protein powder with 10 grams of the Kino collagen. Now, like I said, you could use all Kino collagen. It's just, uh, it's the consistency, the texture is not gonna be the same. And if you use all regular protein powder, it's a bit too dry. So this is the perfect combination. Okay, so next we're gonna add in two teaspoons of baking powder. Enough have to be perfect. One and a half, two teaspoons. Get our scale, and we're gonna measure out uh, 40 grams of Hershey's Cocoa Powder. It seems like a lot, but I love my desserts chocolatey. Okay. Now we could add in our flour. And we're gonna be adding in 40 grams of the flour. Use the flour you have. Try, uh, try old flour if you don't have buckwheat flour. Regular flour. 40 grams of any flour. Okay. Good. Okay, so that's it for the, the dry mixture. Now uh, you could add in some some sweetener if you're using like a let's say a vanilla flavored protein powder with the blueberry muffin collagen. Then you could add in some cinnamon, some nutmeg. Okay, so mix that together. Now it's ready to start including in our wet ingredients. Okay, so for the wet ingredients, we're gonna be using some unsweetened cashew milk and vanilla extract. That's it, simple, 224 grams. Cause 225 is too much. 224, trust me. Okay, and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, now we're gonna whisk this together. You're gonna wanna preheat the oven at 375 degrees before you start this process. By the time you're ready, the oven is going to be ready. I 
got a tray, not too big, not too small. We're gonna spray it. Just so it doesn't stick. Okay, gotta pour the batter inside. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the oven for 15 minutes and we'll see how it looks once it's ready. Let's go. Okay, so while that's being baked in the oven, we're gonna start preparing the frosting and we're using some yogurt mixed with some vanilla jello pudding mix and we're gonna crush two, two Oreos on top. So it's gonna be like a cookies and cream brownie skillet. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm using 250 grams of yogurt. This is plain, non fat. You could use 2% if you just have to adjust the macros. We're gonna use 10 grams of the jello. Let's use vanilla, you can use white chocolate, works good. Okay. And you could even add in some sweetener if you like. But this is gonna be this is gonna be perfect. So mix well and then put it in the fridge until the the cake is ready. And then you just we're gonna spread it on top and then crush the Oreos. Okay. okay. So it's out of the oven. It smells amazing. And it's pretty thick, so it's not one of those like little thin cakes. Sometimes you, you make a recipe and you think it's gonna be this, this huge cake and you have this little pancake. This is a full size single serve brownies. We're not playing games here. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna get the frosting that we made, put it on top and then we'll take a nice bite. Finished product. Out of the oven, smells amazing. Put the toppings, as you can see, I, I sprinkled some uh, two crushed Oreos, that's the regular size Oreos, and I drizzled some homemade chocolate sauce. Now I have that recipe um, on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, and my TikTok, so go check that out. So let's do a taste test. Look at that. This whole brownie skillet. Okay, actually before we take a taste test, before we do a taste test, the macros are 673 calories for this whole skillet that's including the the Oreos and the chocolate syrup uh, 106 carbs 13 fat and 68 protein now if the calories are a bit too high you could exclude the the Oreos and or you could put less yogurt on top but for me it's perfect I'm gonna have a bigger meal later and then a later night dessert okay so let's go You could also divide the recipe in two or three, but I'm gonna eat the whole thing. That's so good. That is so good. Speechless. Absolutely give this one a try. So moist, so flavorful. And if you're an Oreo sucker like me, you're gonna love this so much. Now, you don't have to use Oreos, you could put whatever cookie, whatever, you could even put fruit, but I love Oreos, okay. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely try this recipe out. And don't forget to pick up your copy of the Movie Star Chef Recipe Cookbook. I'll have the link in my bio or in the description down below. I have to pick up your supply of Kino Collagen. Uh, the link will also be there in my bio and in my description. So like always, thank you for watching. Give this recipe a try, tag me, and let me know what you think in the Facebook group if you're on Facebook, or let me know what you think on Instagram. All right guys, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go finish this. Ciao.